to grab the arms on your back. 10 to 15 minutes of Kapalbhati can melt the stubborn blockages in your arteries which allow your blood to flow. Heart disease is the most common cause of human death globally. And at today's time, this numbers is increasing due to various reasons. The heart is an extremely vital organ which pumps the blood throughout the body and due to which all other organs are functioning actively. But due to wrong habits, wrong living style, today's time, the heart is becoming weaker and weaker. The arteries which carries the blood flow are blocked. Blood circulation is becoming weaker in human body. When arteries get clogged, and blood has a tough time to move forward that puts you at high risk to get heart attack. Today's video is focused on such practices through yoga which can really help you to overcome this problem and also keep your heart stronger and healthy. I will be sharing with you asana which you must do regularly to keep your heart stronger and healthy. The pranayama practice to understand clearly and to practice correctly I have divided these practices into two categories. The first category is who recently got heart attack or who has a weak heart, which practice they should do. They will be follow this routine. And later, after a few months of these basic practices, they can jump into another one, which I will be sharing for those people who don't have any kind of heart problems, but who don't want any such problems in future. So which are the practices which can keep your heart stronger? Let's understand in this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please share to others and help them to live a healthy life. What cause weak heart? What cause heart attack? When the arteries are unable to carry the blood flow due to blockages in arteries, which doesn't allow the blood to flow easily, freely to the heart, it causes internal damage. It causes heart to function weaker. Pressure increases in the heart. Heart get tired. It can happen with many reasons. It can be with high cholesterol, hypertension. It can be with obesity. But at today's time, most common cause of heart attack is stress, mental stress. Mental stress is more high in peak. Stress alone can create heart attack. Stress has become a very common term at today's time in our society. Even there are many young adults who don't have any bad habits, who don't smoke, who don't drink alcohol, eat wrong food, street food, over oily food, but still they are getting heart attack because of stress which they carry throughout the day and day-to-day -day life which disturb their heart. Therefore, it is necessary for us to, to reduce the stress and take care of our body. Now understand what are the signs that your heart is weak and you must take care of your body today. There are few signs that you should not ignore and take care of this body on time. First sign of weak a heart or having heart attack maybe in the future is started having chest pain. Especially left side of the chest pain is showing you, is telling you that your heart is under pressure reduce this pressure. So there are some practices that you should do at that time which I will be sharing later. The second is shortness of breath. If you are walking and if you feel that your breath is getting faster or short, it means it is creating too much pressure to the heart also. Heartbeat is also going very fast quickly. After having few steps, it means your heart is weak. You should take care of this right now. Feeling that you cannot catch your breath also indicate that obstructed blood flow through arteries. The third common sign that you get tired very easily, mentally and physically both. If you feel that you, your body cannot take pressure, even a little bit pressure, and you get tired very fast, it means your heart is getting weak, you must take care right now. Another sign is weak memory. You're all the time forgetting things very fast. It means still something is not well inside. Start working. These were the common signs that you should not ignore. Now understand that when you are in some situation that you are having this trouble, what you should do. So first thing, those who recently got heart attack, first practice, first they will start doing some physical exercise because physical exercise increases the blood flow, increases the heat in the body and also remove the blockages through arteries which is very important for your blood flow to easily moving forward. So which exercise you should do? 
intense dynamic exercise i'm not recommending you to do but you must start first exercise that is cat and cow pose which is called marjari asan for that you must come to the table position separate the knees and arms shoulder width apart inhalation will be urge and stretch your chest forward looking up exhalation will be rolled forward down i have given the instructions in detail on my previous videos i will share all the links in description all the practices of pranayam and all the practices of asana in link in description you go there and check how to perform these asana these pranayam correctly in detail so you will not have any questions because here i will be sharing you just a practice just to understand what you have to do the second practice you must perform is adho mukha swanasan variation where you are keeping your arms forward and keeping the hips higher with exhalation you will be going down and touching the chin down to the floor or forehead down to the floor this will open up the chest this will increase the oxygenated blood circulation to the body and also takes care of your heart stretching the heart muscles shoulders stretching the ribs and lungs which is very important for healthy heart third exercise that you must regularly practice that is gomukhasan pose for that you must sit in vajrasan with inhalation you will extend your arms to the side stretch your arms over the head and one arm will be wrapped behind other arm from the top you will grab the arms on your back this exercise gomukhasan will help you to improve the extension of the spine also increases the suppleness flexibility to your shoulder joint which is very important for your lungs to function well the lower lungs which we don't use this asana will be helpful to use them fully it allows your lungs to work with full of potential so this asana is very important two more asana you can perform first side bending stretch your arms side with exhalation you extend your upper arm behind your ears with inhalation again you will come to center with exhalation to the side this will help your ribs to open sideways and allow your side lungs to expand well the next powerful yoga asana is setu bandhasan for healthy heart keeping the legs hips wide apart stretch your arms under the buttocks you elevate your hips as high as you can spend 10 to 15 seconds in this pose so these were the asana practices as you must do regularly question comes how much time you should do each asana spend time 10 seconds to 15 seconds in the beginning later you can extend the time according to your comfort two to three times repeat this pose regularly additionally you must practice joints movement which will also allow the blood circulation to be freely in your body and keeps the body warm so there's no blockages in your arteries and heart will function freely the next part which is pranayam part so if you are the one who recently got heart attack they will not do intense breathing exercise first they will do some vega pranayam in some vega pranayam you are trying to balance the breath how you will do that for example you are sitting simply in padmasan or any position in which you are performing the asana you will take inhalation few rounds maybe 2 to 3 seconds you will take inhale deeper and exhale deeper like that so you are trying to balance the breath this is first thing you will do the second thing you will do is that is chandra bhedi pranayam which is moon activation pranayam chandra bhedi pranayam is very helpful to activate the parasympathetic nervous system reduce the stress quickly and help your body to relax completely inhalation will start from the left nostril slowly exhalation will be right nostril so every time you inhale through the left nostril exhale through the right nostril inhale through the left nostril exhale through the right nostril few rounds you will perform this pranayam at least start in the beginning 7 to 10 round simple breathing which will be slow and soft here you are not counting your breath you are just as much as possible you are inhaling deeply by keeping the spine straight you are exhaling other nostril now at the end the third practice of pranayam will be rechak pranayam rechak means exhalation so now in third step which is just focusing on exhalation for example you inhale three now extend your exhalation make it exhale longer than inhale so means six exhalation slowly slowly i'm using the number three it means i don't want you to push yourself to take higher breath no in the beginning 
because it can create the pressure to the heart and lungs, which I don't want. So start with a three inhalation, counting mentally. One, two, three. Exhale, start with a six. Do five to seven rounds and do three times. Now the other hand, those who don't want any heart condition later in the future, first of all, change the habit. In this video, I'm not explaining you what to eat, what not to eat. Just I'm focusing on the practice, which is essential that you must practice regularly. Regular Kapalabhati Pranayam is the best for you. It increases the heat and burn. 10 to 15 minutes of Kapalabhati can melt the stubborn blockages, heavy blockages in your arteries, which allow your blood to flow freely throughout the body. This Kapalabhati Pranayam I have explained detailed in my previous video. Again, I'm sharing the link in description. You must go and check this practice. The second practice that you must regularly do, that is Bhastrika Pranayam, which is very important to strengthen your heart, which is very important to use your lungs fully. To increase the blood flow to the chest region which also help you to relax this area because we carry too much tension into chest area. Trika Pranayam, intense inhalation, intense exhalation will help you to release the stress, also increase the blood flow, increases the heat of the body, relaxes the mind after some time. Slow and just increase the speed of inhalation. No need to do like this. No, slow like that. This space is enough. At the end, the last pranayam, which both conditioned people can do. For Brahmani pranayam, you will close, close the ear with straight back. You will be sitting and now with exhalation will be sound, humming sound, which is like this. As long as possible, try to create the sound. At least seven round you will do every day. This Brahmari pranayam, also relaxes the mind, reduces the stress. Those who don't have stability in the mind, those who are jumping from one work to another work, doesn't relax completely. For them, Brahmari Pranayam is very good. If you have heavy emotions which you are carrying in your inner body, Brahmari Pranayam releases them, remove them completely out. So Brahmari Pranayam is very good. Brahmari Pranayam creates the vibration to the chest area and the upper part of the body as well, which activates the pranic flow in your upper body to relax the inner body as well. These were the practices which everyone regularly should do in order to keep your heart healthy. I believe that you understood these practices. For more detail, watch the link in description. And if you are new to this channel, please share this to others. Like and comment if you have any question. I will see you again with the next video. Till then, Namaste.